Hey, it's Jeremy here. We're going to be doing an eagle mark or a brand mark in Illustrator CC. So what I've done is I picked an animal. So I picked an eagle. Um, if you're going to follow along, you can pick any animal you want as well. And what I looked for was a nice, you know, silhouette. Um, the good thing is when you're picking an animal, try and get a, a side view or a front on view. Um, that'll be easier to illustrate the shapes in Illustrator. So I just got some images of Google. Um, make sure there's no copyright um, or there's like a watermark or a photographer because they might get mad. So um, keep an eye out for that. But um, pick some images that you think are going to work. Um, but you refine it down to one image anyway. So I just picked all these images as you can see. But some of them don't work. You see that um, if I did this silhouette, you wouldn't really notice it unless we cut up the shapes a bit. But the, the shape is a bit too blobby. Um, you can see... Some of these are okay, but the angle might look weird because of the um, the wings. So it just depends how you approach it. This one's pretty nice because it's got like a nice side view. You might be able to cut that out really easily. And some of these ones, they look they look nice. They're nice photos, but you won't be able to use it for a mark. Um, so it's all about picking the right reference photos and images. Um, and if you pick the right images, then you know it'll be easier to sketch it out and build the shapes. So I eventually um, stuck with this one. It's kind of like a side view. And because of the, the angle and the wing spam, um, I thought I could make it into you know a nice eagle shape and really simplify it and um, be able to get that nice image of an eagle and be able to you know use that for a mark. So yeah, I got this, I printed it out, and then I jumped into sketches, um, which I'll show you in a second. You can see how... Um, this mark is pretty simple. You can see the wings and the outline. And really, I niche down and focus on one picture. Um, and what I've got here as well, I've got some tracing paper. It's just 60 GSM. Doesn't matter what brand it is, just make sure you can be able to see through. And what we're going to do here is we're going to build a simple brand mark um, using this picture. And we're just going to simplify it. So we're just going to draw simple shapes. So I'm just going to move this a bit here so I can use more paper. So first up, so you've got your tracing paper, you've, um, you've, you've printed out the picture of the animal, whatever you're using, and you're just going to start drawing shapes. Um, and we're just looking for like negative space and just simplifying it. We're not looking too much about the details. But we're trying to get the form, look at the shape, how we can utilize it. And we just keep doing iterations until we found something that's going to work. And you can see here how I'm starting to draw the shapes, just drawing simple shapes. And I'll just go through and start doing some iterations. So I'll just continue through, do another one, move it across. And just going to start, you know, drawing different shapes, um, see if we can make some connections. And we're really just trying to keep that eagle shape in a simple form where it's going to be recognizable. And we want to keep it as clear as possible. So you can see I'm starting to get some marks here. If you can see that. And I'll just continue to go through and do as many as I can until I've uh, figured out a shape that's going to work and that's going to you know, be easily memorable and recognizable as an eagle. So I refined the sketch. I kept just using tracing paper and retracing over the logo mark. And you can see I just try to keep the form simple and just make the shapes really pop out. I really like the idea of the wing popping out, like having an offset. The tricky part was was trying to get the tail um, nice and as well as the, the talons or the claws. It was a bit tricky, but overall I started liking this concept and I kept reiterating on that. And you can see it started to getting pretty smooth um, and these are my last final concepts that I did and I like the tail here but I was going to use that but I didn't think it was going to work really well so I just stuck with this last one here and I just um, made a clipping mask but before we go and show you how to make the sketch uh, here's the logo mark done completed um, looks pretty nice overall it's looking pretty smooth I might need to go refine some anchor points but overall you can see if I select it it's got pretty much minimal anchor points that's how you get the smooth curve. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make this now. So I've got my sketch and you can see how I made the clipping mask of, of the image. 
So I can just get this box to make it easier to trace. And what we're going to do, press P for the pen tool. And then what we're going to do now is make it a stroke. I usually use magenta. Uh, put it on two points. And what we're going to do, we're going to slowly build out these shapes. So we're going to start with the wing first. So we're just going to click on the anchor point on the corner. Because we want that point to be sharp. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the furthest points and I'm going to click and drag. And you can see you're starting to get these handles. And to get rid of one, you just re-click on it and it'll get rid of that handle. But sometimes it's okay to get the handle. We can just make it the handle smaller as well if you don't want to get rid of it. Hold Alt and you can drag that in because you might want to use it to edit this curve as well. So I can click and drag again. And we can try and get that curve just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to click on the angle point, get rid of that handle. And for this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I might hold shift. You see how if you hold shift, it keeps it um, straight, horizontal. You can also do vertical as well. Um, this is good when you're doing typography, but it's also all right when you're doing um, this type of work as well. Um, but sometimes you don't have to do it so perfectly. Um, but yeah, you know, just do your best. So we're just going through, going to the furthest point and trying to keep as minimal anchor points as we can. That's how you get the smooth curves. I have one more here, and then we're going to have one up here. Actually, I'm just going to control do that because I want to keep this angle, this handle. So you can see now we've got our shape. Obviously, we have to smooth it out. You can select it and do this. But if you if you do it around the corner, what's what it's going to do is going to put two anchor points. So we can it can get a bit messy and and you can stuff up your curves. So um, usually it's you know good practice to go through and just edit the handles, drag the handles one by one. Sometimes I have to go back. If you hold Alt, you see if, um, the, the handles didn't pop up. So you press P for the pen tool and then you hold Alt and then I'm just going to drag, click and drag, and it's going to make the two handles again. Then I can just go through, use the direct selection tool, or use um, the convert tool as well. As you can see here, the anchor point tool, you hold alt, I'm just dragging in like that, just like that. So we'll do the same for the main shape as well. I'm just going to do it rough, you know, but if you do it in your spare time, you know, you can do it prop, you can do it better and you can always refine the lines, refine the curves and really just get it looking the best it can. Also trick if you, pre if you press space as well it moves the hand, gives you a hand and it moves around. It's pretty handy. So yeah, when you're working with logo marks, you want to make sure that you know it's simple and it's clean because if it's going to be the face of a company or a brand, you know it's got to look professional, and it's got to be able to be used on like all platforms and different scenarios. Okay, so what I usually do here as well, I might fix this because this is a bit dodgy. Another thing to note is, well, you see how these handles are stretching out. Make sure um, they don't go too far. See how this one's long, this one's shorter. You want to make sure they're very similar. They're similar in length and not like cro over crossing each other, because it's going to end up. You're going to end up having bad lines. Sweet. So if I press Shift X, you can see how our shapes are coming along. So I'll quickly do one more thing and then. We'll continue. So I'm just going to select my shape, my main shape, and go path, offset path. So this is what I usually do. It doesn't matter how big it, it goes. Maybe I might do, do six. Press OK. And I might change the color of that so we can see. So I'm going to offset path. This is how we get um, mathematically correct you know, offset. So it's correctly in line with this line here. So it's not. it's going to make sure it's you know, perfect. So 
I'm going to select this anchor point, and what I want to try and do is try and get the curve matching this curve so it flows together. You see how the lines are, we want the line to flow together so it becomes balanced. And you can see we go through here and we want to try and match up these two curves. So I'm just editing these handles. As you can see, taking my time. I'm just trying to get it as close as possible to the to the yellow line that we made. So you can see I'm starting to come around this curve so it looks it's gonna you know it's gonna feel and look good when we do the we have the space so you see and that's what I'll do and I'll do the same thing for the the talons as well uh, but I'll just skip that so the video short so yeah so that's what I did and then I just grouped it together and brought it over here I, these are a bit more refined you can see the anchor points let me just see if they got the strokes see that's how it is I'll just change the color and yeah so I hope this tutorial was good for you guys uh, let me know it can be a bit it's a bit more time consuming um, to create, you know, a logo mark, but it's really simple, you know, it's just simple shapes, um, you're building on a foundation, you're building from an image, a reference, um, you know, focus on having good silhouette, and then focus on building, you know, um, simple shapes, keep it memorable, as well as emphasize on things that are gonna, you know, be noticeable in the mark, like for the in eagle, it's about the wings, or the beak, you know, so, yeah, that's how you make the mark, leave me a comment below if you like the tutorial, and subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to see more design tutorials and free content.